Welcome back guys, here's some tech news to put in that old Easter basket. It might not be chocolate, but at least it's better than Peeps. You ever had Peeps? No. <laughs> Dennis doesn't know what Peeps are. Whoa, Apple's gonna release new iPhones in the fall? No way! Okay, that's not surprising, but what might be is the fact that they'll reportedly be launching four new models. Except that I just told you that, so you won't be surprised when it happens. Anyway, the news comes courtesy of a Bloomberg report based on info provided by people familiar with Apple's plans, who also say the two higher end models will bring back the flat stainless steel edges last seen in the iPhone 5 and iPhone SE. The phones will reportedly have a similar module to the new iPad Pro, complete with a LiDAR sensor, and you can also expect a smaller and cheaper HomePod speaker, which I know we're all very excited about if only just to give Siri a home herself. Maybe she just sucks because she's stuck in the airwaves, you know? Like, I think that's how Siri works. Hey, remember the Steam controller? Ha <laughs> yeah. Look, I don't mean to bash it. If you have one and you enjoy it, that's great. But most other people didn't really, so it's a bit surprising to see a patent recently published by Valve that describes another Steam controller, but this time with swappable modules. So you could have one of those thumb track pads that are infuriating, or you could switch it out for an analog stick. I mean, it's not a completely crazy idea. Sony and Microsoft have both released attachments that can modify and add extra buttons to Xbox and PlayStation controllers. So maybe this new Steam controller will take off if Valve actually releases it. Ooh, and what if the new controller brings a new wave of Steam machines with it? That would be not good, please don't. And Chromebooks have had the ability to install native Android apps for a while, but now Google appears to be phasing them out. Some core apps like Twitter and YouTube TV are being replaced on Chrome OS devices with progressive web apps or PWAs. While you still install these from the Play Store, they're essentially shortcuts to web pages that look and act like an app that's installed in your system. But don't worry, Chrome OS fans if you do in fact exist. This probably isn't a sign that Google is throwing Chromebooks in its rather large canceled projects pile because this is actually a plus. PWAs require very little storage and use less system resources than installed apps. So Chrome OS is probably doing just fine until Google decides it isn't. Stadia's going strong though, huh, Dennis? Yes. You playing lots of that, huh? Yeah. You're not, he's, I, no, I love it. he's not. Now it's time for Quick Bits, brought to you by the Mass Drop X Sennheiser HD6XX headphones. Have you ever heard a sunrise? Well, these babies can get you there. They're one of Drop.com's all-time bestsellers with over 60,000 sold. They're based on the HD650, which delivers balanced mids and a natural sounding bass. There's a detachable six foot cable in place of the original 10 foot one, and the headset comes with Sennheiser's dependable long-term support. So, what are you waiting? <laughs> Join the drop today. Link below. It's time for Quick Beats. Ah, it's so annoying how desktop computers and phones are like separate things. Well, if you got Windows 10 and a Samsung phone, now they're slightly more linked because you can drag and drop files between them with the Your Phone app on Windows 10 and the Link to Windows app on your Samsung phone. There's a size limit of 512 megabytes, but that's more than an email will take. Welcome to the future, we, we made it. LG is hyping up their next flagship phone, codenamed Velvet, saying it's the start of a range of new products that emphasize distinctive designs and tactile elegance. It will have a uh, 3D arc design with curved display edges. This is just a phone. This is just, a, it's just describing a phone. Why did I put this in today? Oh, to laugh at it. Ha <laughs> ha! The folding at home army has now reached a combined processing power of more than 2.4 exaflops. As the PCMR Twitter notes, that's around 16 times faster than the world's fastest supercomputer, Summit, which can only muster a measly 150 petaflops. <laughs> I think we can stop arguing about which next gen console is gonna be faster because the answer is us, together. Instagram started as a phone app and has resisted transitioning into a full web accessible service regardless of platform, but now it looks like IG is finally starting to embrace the desktop. Last week saw the expansion of DMs to every user and starting this week, you can view Instagram live streams. You know, I just posted an Instagram like a week a week ago. Did you see it, Dennis? Uh, no, I'm not following you. You'd, oh. 
And I haven't checked in on Fallout 76 in a while, but the game is getting an expansion this week with new NPCs. The problem is, those NPCs need places to live. And so Bethesda is telling players to consult the new map, see if their campsite is using the same territory as the NPCs will use, and if it is, they have to move their campsite or presumably lose it. This is such a Fallout 76 way to do this that I actually kind of like it. At least they're consistent with their nonsense. And this is consistently the part of the show where it stops. So now it's over. Come back on Wednesday for more tech news. I promise you, it'll be excellent. I had to put, I had to, what?